At a time of life when some workers start looking toward retirement, Renee Pipkins is putting brand new skills under her belt. I am 53 years old. <laughs> I never thought that I was going to actually be out building and uh, walking around with a tool belt on. Um, this is totally opposite of what I've done in the past. She had been a contract worker for General Motors with a background in engineering in the field of auto assembly. But as layoffs loomed back when GM announced plans to shut down in Shreveport, Pipkins realized as the local job market was changing, she needed to change. I watch trends. I watch the news. I try to keep up with that kind of thing. So I see that the nature of our country is one where we're constantly having to change and retool and trying to um, just find what skills you have and make it better. She learned about a growing need for energy auditors, okay. helping low-income homeowners find ways to find and fix costly wastes of energy in their homes. What I learned from attending the energy conservation program is being able to come in and help the homeowner identify areas of leak like around the windows and explain it to the homeowner simple ways that they can make their house more energy efficient. As part of her training with Bossier Parish Community College, she's serving as an AmeriCorps volunteer, helping the Fuller Center for Housing build this home in Bossier City for a veteran in need. What Pipkins does here counts toward college credit and the kind of on-the-job experience that leads to bigger rewards. I think the really neat thing about our AmeriCorps program is that it is allowing these BIPC students and other students that choose to participate to get hands-on experience in the construction field. And this way, when they go into the job field, we hope they'll have a little edge over some other applicants that will enable them to have a great future. After attending classes at Bossier Parish Community College, Pipkins is now certified as a home energy auditor thanks to a grant from Workforce Innovations in Northwest Louisiana. It's a workforce development program made possible by a prestigious national grant that's matched by support from local partners. The goal is to help displaced workers like Renee get back on their feet by gaining new skills that better match the needs of today's job market. Taking people who, some of them were better educated than I, than I am, and yet they were in a field that it doesn't have the, uh, it is not flourishing at the moment. And so they were having to adapt those skills to something else. Her instructor says the Winlaw program strikes a perfect balance for workers who need new skills, but must also continue making a living. You know, and once you're in midlife, traditional education really doesn't make sense anymore. How do you take four years out to go get a new college degree? Uh, how do you eat for those four years? Uh, these kinds of programs, um, really help students who are trying, who have to keep uh, both ends together while they're trying to do something to improve it and make it better. And in the end, Renee Pipkins is encouraging others who find themselves at a professional turning point to look fearlessly forward and embrace something new. Never say die. I have a fighting spirit and I'm, I'm a winner and I believe in myself. I, I don't say that everyone feels that way, but it's just from cradle to grave, there's an opportunity and just take advantage of it.